What do you say to people who accuse you of bad taste? I say, up yours! <laughs> to ask you, Miss Brooks. Yes. Um, <laughs> if you've ever done anything that you were thoroughly ashamed of, but I think you just told us. <laughs> oh, I was, I was really ashamed of myself. I uh, went into uh, Woolworths with Mike, and we never had money, so we would st always steal something, like a little yo-yo or, uh, or a toy of some kind. This day, I stole a little tiny toy pistol, a toy gun. And I nearly got away with it. I was walking out the store and I said, hey, you! No, it wasn't hey, you. It was an American. <laughs> <laughs> it was, hey, you! Hey, you, kid, come back here. I saw you take that toy gun. I didn't know what to do. I was petrified, I swear to God. So I pulled out this little toy gun and said, stand back, I'll blow your head off. <laughs> and he did. He stood back and we ran out of the store. Right? It was wonderful. It was that, is Gordon Jackson in the audience or isn't he? Sir. Gordon, I, yes. <laughs> Mr. Brooks, is In it... upstairs, downstairs, did you play Hudson, yes or no? Yes! <laughs> when you first came in here, did you want to wear that jacket? No. Uh. When you sat next to that woman in the pink, did you want... Haven't you lied when you said... Didn't you lie when you walked in? Are you not? That's the woman, woman, that's my wife. Liar! <laughs> Sir. Zug away, Gordon. <laughs> Question. Is it true that you were a war hero? False. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you about my war experiences. After they found me in Canada, <laughs> I immediately enlisted not to serve John. And uh, I spent uh, some time in the army, and I rose to the rank of corporal. Yes. Corporal ain't bad. Hitler was a corporal. Napoleon was a corporal. Short guys, we they make corporals. What do you want from me? <laughs> I became a corporal. And um, uh, one day, I was leading my men uh, back toward where we lived. And uh, we, we, we stumbled upon a uh, case of German Mauser rifles. Everything I tell you here is true. I mean, embroider it, it's all true. Sharp shooting rifles. And uh, we opened the case, wiped the grease off. There was ammunition. There was white ceramic insulators all over this telephone pole. And we all bet a couple of bucks. The one who could knock off with these things won the pool of money. So we all shot at it, and some tall Gentile from Arkansas won. <laughs> Tuesday, all we know is that the gun goes, when you pull the trigger, that thing hits you in the show. And we knocked off all the insulators. We blew, blew them to hell. And then we got back in our command car. We drove back to, to headquarters, and they were up in arms. We were all running around. What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? The Germans have cut off communication between the 7th Army and, and our unit. How? What? Well, uh, they, they broke the telephone wires. I said, oh, my God. They said, we need, a, we need a unit. The Germans must be in the area. And I said, I'm volunteering. <laughs> they are my men to go out there and find those crowds and, if necessary, kill them and stop this loss of communication. That's, I want a bronze star for that. <laughs> I'm doing that. I'm doing that. That's the American Army. That's a true story. <laughs>